What's up, AC and Insiders? Francesca here. She is a singer, a songwriter, a producer, and guess what? She has worked with some of your favorites. I'm talking Blue Cantrell and J Lo herself, and she just dropped her new album. It is titled Therapy: The Love Sessions. I mean, uh, a, a a voice of gold. We are talking to Miss Shamora today. How are you, Shamora? I'm good. How are you? You're so sparkly. Thank you. From her nails to her jacket, I just can't stop touching you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Yes. You're from New Jersey, however, I, I mean, you're pretty much raised here right here in Atlanta yes I've been here longer than anywhere mm -hmm. um, you know family migrated as I was younger and then I just kind of um, Atlanta's my base my home base so yeah. talk to me about your your, your tie-in with Atlanta because you know Atlanta is a huge mm music town we pride ourselves in creating crunk music i mean okay. you know you got you know uh, welcome to atlanta right, right. we, we got do. you know candy birds yeah, we got we a lot do. of folks we get our good r b from yes exactly yes, so yes. so give me some inspiration that you got from atlanta oh wow inspirations oh god um I don't know because uh, I mean I think probably just coming up writing probably just yeah. the R&B at the time when I was younger and when I first signed a publishing deal at 15 with Sony Ooh. when I was here in Atlanta and probably just music at that time so from your escapes and other you know groups like that like I mean just you know you're growing up listening to all that great stuff and I love R&B so yeah and just looking at your repertoire I mean it's pretty remarkable I'm looking at uh, J-Lo Monica Blue Cantrell you're producing yeah. for all of those people was yeah. that right here in Atlanta how did you get your start doing that so doing that again so I signed my publishing deal at 15 yeah. and with Sony and then so I started writing with different major producers and then I ended up working a lot in Los Angeles mm -hmm. and then so that's how I ended up by collaborating with other producers that's how we ended up writing with um, like for JLo and Monica oh. and all that good stuff so yeah I mean it was been a it was a crazy ride. It's been a crazy ride. It's been awesome. It's what been would you say your your inspiration is when it comes to your music? Because mm. right now you have an album called Therapy, the Love Sessions. What does that mean? Break that down for me. Wow. So Therapy, the Love Sessions. So music is therapeutic for me, and it's therapeutic for others. So people will say that they'll say, Shamora, I listen to your music, um, you know, and it really it really helps me. It soothes me. Yeah. I get through my life, and I'm like, but it does the same thing for me. So I called it that because as I go into the studio and I'm working, this is me putting all of that out there, right? So it's me kind of sharing with you, um, the ins giving you some insight into Shamora. So the love sessions, oh. um, it kind of talks about where I've been, yeah. where I am, where I hope to see myself. Um, so it just focuses on love, my love for the Lord, yes. my love for people. Yeah, all that good stuff. One thing that I found really, um, mm -hmm. I really liked about your story was you know you intentionally create music to connect people yeah why was that so important you creating um, that in, in your music when people hear your voice you want them to connect to each other um i mean i think because sometimes we don't have enough music that does that i think um that you know that gets you to connect um and i try to be the voice for those who maybe have gone through things maybe hurt frustrations, pains, mm -hmm. disappointments, but to be able to cause you to feel, to connect and to feel on purpose yes. um, and to walk away with something substantial. So that when you, when the music goes off, you're still thinking, you're still contemplating, you're, you're, you're starting the healing process. You have opened up for uh, Frankie Beverly, uh, Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Well, tell me about those experiences. Oh, wow. They were amazing. That sounds um, amazing. Yeah, it was really fun. Girl. I mean, you know, it's, it's awesome. Whenever you get a chance to get in front of a really big crowd and then open for artists like that who are amazing. Like, I love Jill and Erica. And, I mean, they're they're very sweet. Um, and so it was just, I, it, was a, it was a wonderful experience. Um, and their music is fantastic. And it was just, you know. I want to know a little bit more about you. Do you have yeah. children? I mean, I don't have married? children. I'm not married. So where do these... The love songs come from. Oh my God, from experience, mm. of course. Mm. From experience. I mean, every woman, haven't we been through a lot? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. have to say that. I don't know a woman, I don't know any women that haven't actually been through quite a bit in their lives. So we're dynamic. We're amazing. We have such incredible stories to tell. And so I try to just be as transparent as possible and share those stories. What's yeah. been the craziest love story that you've been involved with? Something that's like, okay, what in really? the world? Like, now, who can say that? I mean, <laughs> or, or just, that? maybe if you can PG-13 like, it for me, but just uh, something where you're like, I can't believe this is life. <laughs> you know what? I think for myself, because I, I write about it, so that's probably why I share it. Um, I think that most women, especially myself, you never think that you're going to be that girl in that situation where maybe you might have been 
mm, you're in that situation with that guy that you feel like, how did I end up here for whatever reason? Maybe you're stuck in something that's kind of not exactly where you thought it was yeah. going to go. Or maybe he's kind of in an area that you didn't think he was going to be in and you just didn't think. You're like, hey, I'm strong. I'm this kind of a person. How did I end up here? Mm-hmm. That's probably crazy for me. So being a strong, confident, comfortable woman, yes, yes. for me to be in a situation where I'm kind of like, wait a minute, this is not okay yeah yeah and, and again your song is you were helping women do that yeah. now on the 6th yes on the 6th about the 6th february 6th what's going on the 6th so i will be back at city winery in atlanta Woo. um it's going to be amazing absolutely awesome <laughs> oh my god such a wonderful awesome soulful night of incredible Aww. beautiful glorious music <laughs> um yeah to take you on this amazing um musical journey no seriously it was awesome the last time i'm looking forward to it this time so um, yeah, it's going to be great. What does the crowd really get from that experience? Oh, Just wow. being in the room with you, hearing your soulful voice. Wow. So we go through a whole journey. I mean, it's a roller coaster. Like we start out, I mean, we're having a good time. We're talking about love. We're laughing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and then I try to take you on a, a spiritual journey as well. So, you know, to just really connect to you, meet you where you are mm-hmm. and then, um, pour some substance into you. Like I said, so when you leave you're you're left kind of thinking like, Hmm, what was that? And I got to start this healing mm-hmm. process, but I leave better than when I came. Oh, look yeah. at you. Yeah, yeah. So when uh, we're going to obviously play a, a clip of this on air, but when 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 our viewers look at it fully online, where can they find you? Where can they find the music? Where can they find the, the CD? How can they get in touch with you? Yeah, so my, my website is literally just my name. It's just shamora.com, S-H-A-M-O-R-A.com. But on social media, it's at I am Shamora. So that's, you know, all social media, Instagram, Facebook, Does that mean you know, anything, your that name? Twitter. Does your name mean anything? Um, <laughs> it just sounds like it. You know what? It's funny. I've researched it, so I found out one Shamora is actually some destination, some crazy tourist destination in Russia. It's a beach that everyone goes to. My parents did not know that. Okay. They named me that. And then it's mm-hmm. also a collection of old songs. They had no idea. How ironic is Isn't that? Isn't that crazy? That is Look crazy. at the Lord. <laughs> you talk about meant to be, hey. Meant to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, well, we're going to definitely be showing our viewers, you know, yeah. how you sound. I know we went through it now, but they have a little meeting going on. Yeah. Um, but we're going to be playing a clip of how you sound and your music nice, and nice. all that jazz. So we cannot wait for your performance on the 6th. Yeah. Good luck. Tell Thank them one you. more time where they can see you in life or see you in real life. Oh, wow. City Winery. City Winery, February 6th. Get your tickets right now at citywinery.com. Come to hmm. City Winery in Atlanta to hang out with Shamora for the night so I can sing to you and just love on you and then hug you and see your beautiful faces afterwards. Yes. Isn't she so likable? You just want to come through the screen and jump at her and yes. just give her a hug or something like that? Yay. All right, guys, you just watched the A-Scene interview with Miss <laughs> Shamora.